Hello students, today I am going to discuss with you an, a graph uh, seen in the academic IELTS writing test of uh, 17th August 2019. This uh, has been seen earlier also but uh, somehow the data reported by my students uh, was not that accurate uh, earlier. So this time I had quite a few students appearing on that day and so uh, they reproduced it correctly. And uh, here, uh, uh, this graph, it has four bar graphs. The graphs below show the export of citrus fruits in 1000 metric tons by world's top countries in 2012. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So all these four show the exports of citrus fruits. And uh, uh, the first uh, bar graph shows the export of oranges. The second shows of lemons, third of grape, grapefruits and the fourth shows of all other citrus fruits. And this metric tons was confusing for the students and so uh, just to, um, uh, even I didn't know, I thought ton, t-o-n and t-o-n-n-e uh, were the same but there is a slight difference although these two units are used interchangeably but there is a slight difference and uh, this is just for your general knowledge. Uh, even if uh, uh, I, I, if it was an eye opener for me also, this difference, I didn't know it earlier. I thought it was absolutely the same. So, ton and ton are both units of measurement. In the United States, a ton is 2000 pounds. Outside the United States, a ton can refer to a metric ton which is 1000 kilograms or 2204.6 pounds. So, this is the difference. A ton is another word for a metric ton. So this ton, T O W N E, is another word for metric ton, and uh, this ton is used in the U K. And T O N is used in the U S. Uh, you don't need to go into that much. This was just for your general knowledge. Uh, I thought uh, sharing knowledge would be good because uh, it was uh, really interesting to learn that. And uh, but here you just use the the units as they are given to you and don't get confused. Uh, this is uh, uh, now this is my introduction. The bar graphs illustrate the export of oranges, lemons, grapefruits, and other citrus fruits by the leading producers of the world. So these are the four, uh, three types of citrus fruits, and the and then all other in one category. This is my one sentence intro. Then comes the overview which uh, begins with the word overall. Overall, it can be seen that more oranges were exported than other citrus fruits and the US was the only country which was one of the three leading exporters for all three citrus fruits, oranges, lemons and grapefruits. So here you can see the other countries are not there in all the three graphs. Uh, in uh, US is there in oranges, lemons and United uh, and grapefruits. So uh, this is uh, the overview. It tells that uh, uh, that oranges were uh, more exported, more oranges were exported than all other uh, citrus fruits. You can see this uh, from these units here. And uh, US was the only country in all the three uh, bar graphs. Looking at the graph in more detail, South Africa was the leading exporter of both oranges and lemons. So this is South Africa, leading exporter of both oranges and lemons uh, with exports of 1051,000 metric tons for oranges and 500,000 metric tons for lemons. Mexico was the second leading exporter of oranges, registering an export of 900,000 metric tons but it exported only uh, 150,000 metric tons uh, of lemons. So this is uh, South Africa and these units are for Mexico, 950 here. And uh, the US exported 350 metric tons, uh, 350,000 metric tons of lemons and double that amount of oranges. Here it is 700. So here it is 350 and here it is 700. Coming to grapefruits, the US and Turkey 
uh, were the leading exporters with exports of 350,000 metric tons each. While Argentina followed closely behind with 280,000 metric tons of exports. So this is both these countries 350,000 metric tons and this is 280,000 metric tons. Finally, Japan was the leading exporter of other citrus fruits. You can see these are other. This is 450 and this is just 6 and 4. So 450,000 metric tons. It was a leading exporter of other citrus fruits. Now I have used these units in brackets. Uh, without By reading the sentence without the data in the brackets, uh, the sentence should feel complete then your brackets has been uh, used have been used correctly finally japan was the leading exporter of other citrus fruits whereas israel and turkey contributed an export of barely 6000 and 4000 metric tons respectively so here uh, the data is put in brackets and without the brackets i read the sentence it was correct so this is how you see whether you use the brackets correctly or not so this was my uh, explanation of this graph. I hope you've learned something from this. Uh, this was slightly uh, tough graph and uh, I think students must have faced difficulty uh, writing about it within the 20 minutes given there for this graph. Anyways, so this is uh, my explanation and hope you've learned something from it. Uh, these graphs are repeated from time to time uh, the graph which came on 4th May in India, the same graph was repeated on 10th August in India. So nowadays it's very important. Earlier the same graph uh, was not seen, um, you know, so soon. But now you must do all the graphs that come in the past that have come in the recent past also. So that if any graph is repeated, uh, you are better prepared for it. Thank you very much for watching patiently.